Football power hour! Yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Football Power Hour. You know what? Premier League match day is done. Match day 23 is done. We're going to talk about it. We're going to look at uh, some of the games. Actually, we're going to talk about all the games that happened this weekend. And uh, we're also going to talk about Manchester United, uh, the game that they played versus Bournemouth. Away from home, mama mia. If you're new to this channel, we always do this thing after every Manchester United game. We look at each player that started. We give them a performance grade and a performance remark. And uh, you know what? It's not looking good, bruv. <laughs> Matter of fact, what makes me... This is best describes how I feel about Manchester United this season. It's a shame. I am so, so upset about the situation. It just makes me upset. You know, one thing that could cheer me up is if you hit the like button and if you subscribe. But uh, my name is Botona Papi. Welcome to the Football Power Hour. Let's get this show started, shall we? All right, all right, all right. Now, one thing in life is the haters are going to hate, the workers are going to work, and the bottlers are going to bottle. Now, here I have a bottle of Jamaican black castor oil. I have a bottle of wine, a bottle of water, <laughs> and a bottle of Arsenal Tears. <laughs> A bottle of uh, Liverpool tears. Mm -hmm. ah, tell you, they taste so good. <laughs> they taste so good. It would have been really nice if we won our game. But, you know, it is what it is. Matter of fact, let's start with Manchester United. Let me put these bottles away before uh, you start thinking I'm an Arsenal fan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know... I consider this weekend, match day 33, that just happened, uh, probably the most important match day of this uh, season's campaign, especially, especially um, looking at the fact that it is very, very, very decisive of how the top of the Premier League is going to end, how the who's going to be the crowned champions at Match day 38. We're just a few few games away. And mama mia, mama mia, the title race is getting hot and hot and hot. And I really wish we were in it. I wish we were in it. I think this time around, it's just for us to just sort of watch and see how the bottler's going to bottle. If at all, this Arsenal blip and the Liverpool blip <laughs> mean that Manchester City are going to win it. Because at the end of the day, we know from recent history that any time Manchester City has been given the opportunity to, you know, defend a Premier League lead on the table, they go all the way. So it's scary times. It's peak times. If you're an Arsenal fan, I feel for you. If you're a Liverpool fan, I kind of feel for you. <laughs> anyway, talking about feelings, mama mia. All right. As I said, I'm so, so, so upset about this situation. We played Bournemouth and we could not win versus Bournemouth. How is that possible? Manchester United. Us, Manchester United. The team that's in a rebuild. We still cannot beat Bournemouth. Now, I'm going to start this with uh, looking at the report card from the last time we played Bournemouth. Because, you know, we always, as I said, we always, always do this after every game. Look at that. These are the grades from the last time we played Bournemouth at home. And there's a whole bunch of... Uh, it's not F for Faro. <laughs> it's not F for Fantastic. It is F... <laughs> for 4K 
<laughs> our, our players, our team is not teaming this season. You can almost, almost just laugh about it. Look at that. We have the highest D, the highest grade was a D. And that went to Pelestri. Wait. Oh, this was even from last season, you know. Look at that. Right? No, it, it was from, uh, yeah, I think it was from the 3-0. We lost 3-0 to Bournemouth. And Pelestri was still around. And he was the was the only bright spark. McTominay got an incomplete. We still had Reguillon. Oh, mama mia. This is an old report card, but it says Man United versus Bournemouth at the top, as you can see. Let me show you so that, let me make sure you can, uh, I hope you can see right there at the top. It says M-U-N versus Bournemouth. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. Trust me. <laughs> this was this was one of those things where I was just like, is this our team? All right, let's clear that out. And... Uh, <sighs> Say the hard knock life continues as a Manchester United fan. I don't even know, like, why. Okay, we had Onana in goal. Uh, this time around, we had also Dalo was playing uh, versus Bournemouth. And uh, who else? Uh, Wambisaka was the other fullback. Dalo was on right back. Wambisaka was the other fullback. And then Maguire was playing and Kambwala. If my memories, yes, it was the Liverpool. It was pretty much the same sort of like defensive line that faced Liverpool. We did not have McTominay this time around. And boy, we had Mano. We had Bruno. We didn't have Amrabat. We had Casemiro. We didn't have Martial. Oh, this was from last season. We had Martial. <laughs> this was from last season. Um, we had uh, Ganacho. Uh, Ganacho, Rashi, Belfast, Bebe, Rashford, and uh, Hoyland up top. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, 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 now. Let's not waste time with it and go on and just say the whole team was abysmal. <laughs> the whole team was terribly abysmal. I think, I think... Um, to, to when you look at how this game, um, you know, like went, we were pretty much very lucky to come out with a draw, to be honest, to think that Bournemouth hit the post. Let me remind you, Bournemouth Football Club hit the post versus us. And we were also saved by a penalty that could have been awarded at the end of the game when Kambwala made that foul right at the edge of the box. It could have been 3-2. Uh, Man United and the Vitality Stadium would have been on fire if they had beat us. And let's be honest, let's be honest. Andre Onana, starting with you, you considered two goals. There's no way you're getting more than a B minus, my friend. You're getting a C minus, to be honest. He could have done better. Onana, um, I think that he could have done better, especially in the first goal. Uh, he seemed like He's back to slow motion diver again. <laughs> ah, that Clivet goal is the one that really pissed me off. Clivet. How do you spell Clivet? Uh, Clivet. Right, let's see. Clivet. Uh, goal should have been saved. The reason why I say this is because Clivet, you know, we considered this goal from a long ball around the 15th, 16th minute mark. Onana boots a ball, a long ball to Ganacho's side. Ganacho wins it, but Ganacho's first touch is poor. He doesn't trap the ball well. And what the other uh, consequence of that is a Bournemouth player, I believe it might have been Cook, he gets the ball and it's a simple pass to, um, uh, what's his name? To, um, to Clive it. And to Solanke, pardon me, to Dominic Solanke. And Solanke was one on one with Kambwala. All he had to do was to do the shame ya, shame ya, shame ya. <laughs> and Solanka was and, and Solanka was right there. He had the whole net to himself. And he shot from more or less the edge of the box. And he scored. That goal pissed me off. Oh my God. Onana starting to creep back again into dead yeah, mode. Good, good. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Slow mo diver is back. I hope, I hope that was just like a one blip. 
situation because in 2024, in post Afcon, Onana has been much better than before. So I'm gonna give him a C minus. It should be a D, but 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 I have to also acknowledge the fact that he kept us in the game for the most part because if you look at it, uh, Bournemouth scored first and then and then Man United had to respond, and we did. And then again, now Clivet came in and scored second. And then Man United had to respond again. It was a game of like, we were trying to play catch up with Bournemouth again. Oh my God. So, so, so deflating this team sometimes. But I want to not, not let those two goals that he conceded cloud the whole performance in general. I think, you know, he could have done better with a lot of his other long balls. His pass accuracy for the long balls was nowhere near impressive. 43% for a goalkeeper that we bought for his passing ability. Mm, not looking good. And also, what's up with the long balls, Onana? Too many long balls for my liking, you know? And, and, and you know, with the long balls, with the donut formation that we play... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Ten Hag no. still kept, keeps this Dunkin' Donut Krispy Kreme formation where we got that hole. It's just like if Ganacho loses that ball, it's a simple pass, and whoever is the opposition striking force, they have a one on one opportunity with a defender or a fullback, and then it's more or less a goal or a shot on target. And for me, I do not like it by any means. Now, now. I'm going to give Onana a C- minus and hope that next next game, he's going to move it up to a B. Now, let's go to our fullbacks. Oh, man. Let me go. Should I call them halfback? Because <laughs> them guys ain't playing like they fullbacks for real. Like, I saw more of Ganacho trekking back. Partially, maybe it's because of instruction. Maybe that I've been asked to invert. And I do not like this inversion situation. I don't know about you. Everybody has a right to feel how they feel. As a fan of this um, of this club, you have a right to feel how you feel about it. So I'm going to give Dalo. No, let's start with Wambisaka. I'm going to give Wambisaka a D. I just did not see. He just looks so uncomfortable. You have a, you, you know, he's giving me Maguire vibes. You remember Harry Maguire last season when he was not that good? He's giving me like, bro, I'm uncomfortable. Why are you asking me to do this job? You know, I'm going to give him a D. Matter of fact, before I move on with this, let me see. Let me consult the chat and see how everybody that is tuned in. Shout out to all of you guys, man, that are here in the building. I see Ronald Jacob. I see Yale. I see uh, Vegeta in the building. I see men like Munch. Long time no see, man. KG settings this, says Vegeta. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yale. There's no A's. There's no A's. There's no A's for sure. This time around, there'll be no A's. For once, for once, there's good news at United. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Right? We have to. We cannot forget the good news. If you did not know, here is the good news. Compliments of Yale. United under 18s are Premier League North winners. And that to the women's team who now are in the FA Cup final. <laughs> After Chelsea and Mama Mia, we are doing good. We are doing good on other fronts, but not the men's team. You know, I have no idea how <laughs> how I'm gonna get get our get our game up. We need our men's team to start performing like men, <laughs> please. <laughs> so that is why refs are no longer using that spray, which setups uh, set up which set up where the wall is placed during a free kick. FIFA didn't hold up that end of the deal. Free advertisement for using the spray. <laughs> Yale, you're talking about that. Yeah, I haven't seen that spray thing in a while, you know. You know, where they, shh, and then the wall, they take a few steps, and then they, I haven't seen that in a while. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, I had to get oxygen last night by that Chelsea did. I'm lying, of course. Yo, yo, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Le, big up to you, man. Big up to man, as I said, just popping by to say hi. I'll drop my predictions for the Champions League in the comment section of this video and in the community post later. Have a blessed day, bro. Blessings to you. Blessings to you, uh, men like Munch. Thank you. Yes, guys, there is a community post that is up right now for Champions League games. May you please, please give your um, um, uh, comment, your prediction by commenting on that, on that, um, 
on that on that uh post. Yes, Shay, I will put the link. Let me rush through these grades so we don't have a five hour stream because I'm limited on time. But I will put the grades in. Um, uh, I will put the link after the grades. Pardon me, guys. Um, my brother, they beat us at home, so are we surprised? <laughs> this this um, um Bournemouth team, man. We have too many boogie teams, you know. All right, all right. Let's get let's get to uh, the grades. Big up to you, man. Vegeta wants to give a C to Onana. Ronald says Onana should be a B minus. Really? Should it just be a, a straight C? B minus. Really, Ronald? I disagree with you, bots. Send me the link. I will. I will. I will. Let me just get through a couple of these grades. Uh, Yalis has three bright spots. Sp spots Bruno Maguire and Onana get a B. Am I being too harsh on Onana? It seems like the Vegeta and I are the harshest graders in the house right now. Vegeta says C. I said C minus. Um, uh, B minus says Ronald. You know what? Okay, I'll drop the minus and put it and leave it as a C. But the guy conceded two, you know. All right, moving on. Juan Bisaka. As we were on Wan Bisaka, so Wan Bisaka's performance for me, this is how I feel he did. He his left back is not his his place. I think Ten Hag is constantly trying to make him learn, but he looks out of place and uncomfortable. <laughs> I just never. I only see all him one time doing a combination play with Marcus Rashford, and that was it. In the second half, late in the second half, where you know Marcus Rashford puts the ball into a half space and Wan Bisaka is there to collect it, but then it's not even a cross that is a uh, a cutback cross that is made. He just recycles the ball, and it was just more or less of a, an attack that was dead wood, wood, dead wood, dead wood, dead you know. Dead wood, so please, 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 Wan Bisaka, get back to your right for right back position. And obviously, that's that's contingent upon our left back, our a left back showing up, you know. So we need a left back to be available. But right now, we're gonna leave you at that. Diogo Dalo. <sighs> Dalo is like this for me. I I think he had one of his worst performances in a while. And he failed to get, as I said earlier, just a few minutes ago, I saw more of a Ganacho, a tired Ganacho track him back in a couple of phases of play more than Dalo. And for me, I'm going to give him, I think a D is too harsh. So he'll get a C minus. C minus for Dalo. He, he was cooked by Clavit too. This is how you spell Clivet. He was cooked by Clivet a few times. And thank goodness, Clivet and uh, 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 what's his name? Sinistera. Sinistera did not have that shooting boots on, you know? Clive had obviously scored, but Sinistera did have two moments where he definitely, definitely did not recognize Dalo. <laughs> so for me, Dalo, bro, worst game in a while. <laughs> worst performance in a while. And I thought he was he he had kind of turned a corner, you know. I thought he had turned turned the corner in his performances. We're starting to see like, all right, solid, solid seven out of ten B kind of performances from Dalo consistently. But this one was a stinker. <laughs> Let's go to Harry Maguire. As Yale has uh, alluded to Maguire, I think Maguire is one of our standout performers in this game. He actually uh, he was he was a soldier. He was a soldier. You know. And and uh, his presence was he was a solid rock for the most part, solid at the back, and was commanding and helping you know organize some some of the attacks that uh, Solanke and Clivet uh, conjured together. So him and uh, Kambuala, I'm actually. You know, I feel like this game, the goals that we considered for conceded for me, I pinned them more on our fullbacks, but. Maguire, solid B, B minus performance from for, for me. I do not know if you agree or disagree. Let's see. All right. So uh, Yale, I know, gave him a B. Um, let me see. Uh, who else? Anybody else that gave Maguire? It's the... <laughs> 
Yo, yes, Ronald, it's just on the game. No, 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 these are not season's rating. No, 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 no. We'll do a great average at the end. We'll do a great average at the end of the season. But um, I think, I think, I think I'm going to agree with Yale and just leave Maguire at a B. Kambwala. <laughs> Jesus! It was a weekend to forget. <laughs> for <Kamala. laughs> Him and Van de Ven, they were our break dancers of the weekend. <laughs> they get the break dancer award. <laughs> oh boy, that slip, that nearly caused penalty right at the death at the end of the game. It was a weekend to forget for Kamwala. I mean, he had a Good performance versus Liverpool. I will not take that away from him. But this one, hmm, he was the weaker link between the two. And if you're a weaker link when you're playing with Maguire, uh, <laughs> it's not looking good. So I'm going to give Kambwala a C, solid C, not even a C plus, C, C. He, he, I nearly said, um, you know, I, the props that I want to give him because I try to look at the positives and negatives, like he did not let that mistake at the beginning de determine the rest of the game for him. So I want to look at him and saying, losing your first two duels with Solanke can, can definitely, definitely mess you up. And uh, almost, uh, 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 you know, but then he kind of grew into the game a little bit, but then eventually, you know, the penalty that he conceded as well, I'm sorry, I have to take that into consideration and say his performance was a C. Weekend to forget, stop break dancing. <laughs> leave the break dancing to spare to Spurs, right? Okay, let me like leave it right there. Weekend to forget. Uh, nearly <laughs> reminded me <laughs> of Stevie G. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now Kobe, Kobe, Kobe Maynard. For me. And our build-up phases, there was only one person that was a constant. Kobe Maynard was always available to receive the ball. Now, I have a soft spot for the kid. I have a soft spot for the kid, but I think I, I want to just also um, thank him for the fact that we got a penalty, an unlikely penalty from, from out of the blue, and Kobe Maynard was the person responsible for causing it. So, Kobe... Good in the build-up phases. More or less non-existent without the ball. But that's part of the problematic, systematic issue with our rest defense. And I think, you know, um, given all those factors into consideration, I want to give Kobe Maino a B-. Because he was... Okay, for most of the game. And also, thank you for that shot. Because it, it was probably going to be on target. We know the boy has a neck for finding that right side of the corner of, of the post. So, um, he was okay for most of the game. Thank you for the shot that won us the penalty. You know? Because otherwise, it would have been another embarrassment. Like, for real, for real, for real. Kobe... I got to I got to give you your respect. Let me see. Vegeta uh disagrees with my Kambwala saying C minus. I think C C minus won the same ballpark, right? Let's leave him there. The only real midfielder playing for us. Yes, yes, yeah. No, he is. He is. He is the only only guy that was so like I didn't feel um uh any problems really of just like hey, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when he got the ball? He was our outlet to progress the ball forward. We have to respect the boy for that. And uh, yeah, C plus at most. All right, one the same ballpark. Thank you, Vegeta. And um, let's go to, we'll come back to Bruno. Let's go to Casemiro first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when McTominay goes away, we have another McTominay amongst us. Oh my God. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what's up with Uncle Cass. I think we got to start calling him Unc. Uncle Cass. He is not the Casemiro that we signed. <sighs> I want to just say he, he, how bad is Sofian Amrabat that Casemiro keeps on getting all these chances? For me, I'm going to give him a solid D. 
He was no much better than Wan Bisaka in this game. D for donuts. <laughs> D for the donut formation. I don't know. As we said, um, some of these problems in the midfield, it could be the way the manager deploys the midfield or the demands for him. But he is getting tired. He is nearly uh, 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 nearing retirement. I think he's thinking about the retirement package. Nearing retirement. Let me just leave him there. Nearing retirement. Casper Casemiro. C for Casper. <laughs> he goes missing like Casper the friendly ghost. Bruno Fernandes. I have to give the respect to Bruno because he, um, without him, I don't know where, we, where, where would we be without Captain Magnifico. Now, I've been accused of loving Bruno Fernandes too much. Matter of fact, I even bought a Bruno sticker. I have that sticker where he does this, you know, <laughs> where he's covering his ears. But um, he scored a thumping goal that, first of all, that goal that went to the roof of the net, it was just like too much sauce in that goal, too much power, incredible shot power. And also, um, I have to thank him for the moment where we didn't seem to have any, any goal coming out of nowhere. Bruno was able to get that penalty that Kobe Mano uh, uh, engineered for us. And he put it to, he put, like he put it where the ball in, in the back of the net. And that's the main thing. When you are a player able to keep your calm, keep your nerves, and you are in an away stadium, and he just placed it well. That respect, 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 man. <laughs> respect to Bruno for that. Guys, I really, I don't know about you guys, but am I the only one that misses the hop, skip, and a jump for Bruno? I really miss that because I'm more confident on those penalties. But I know he was looking, uh, he, he, when he took that penalty, he was waiting, waiting to see where um, Neto was going to dive. And he did well. He did well, but, but, but I really missed the hop, skip, and a jump because that one brings me so much more confidence. I know he once missed a penalty after doing the hop, skip, and a jump, and he has not brought it back ever since. But Captain Magnifico gets a B plus, A minus. Let me give him an A minus because without him, it would have been uh, a disaster. It would have been something to a, a, a weekend to forget. We would have had to just stay indoors all weekend. Now, I went partying on uh, Sunday night. And partially it was because of you, Bruno. Thank you for allowing me to leave the house. Now, Marcus Rashford. Let's be honest. Rashi in the first half was okay. Rashi in the second half was he subbed the okay to KO. He was... Dead wood, dead wood, dead wood. This guy, I don't know what's going on with him, but he is... You know, like like the other day, my my uh, my girl asked me, can you please do the, the dishes? I was like, yo, the dishes? Yeah, Rushford. And she already knew that I meant that the dishes were washed. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me go ahead and say Rashford. Oh, man. Belfast, we need you. We need you to play as a team, team member, bro. You need to understand you're playing with other people on the pitch. You don't see the overlaps. You don't see the under... <sighs> open... I don't even know the comment to put. Open your eyes, Rashi. Open your eyes. Stop over dribbling, Rashi. Ay, 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 ay. This guy, this guy, this guy. I am getting all oh, every time more and more tired. Now I just want to focus on the Bournemouth game. This is not a season average. This is not a season grade. So I am just gonna go ahead and give Marcus Rashford. Let's see. Minus. Cause he can't say, we can't say Kambwala's performance was better than Rashford's. We can't say he was as horrible as Casemiro. Well, we can. But his first half was a little bit more promising for me. Like there was a little bit of like, oh, oh, maybe, 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 maybe he might come back. But then Marcus Rashford never came back from Belfast. So please stop over dribbling Rashford. Now let's go to Rasmus Hoyland. 
So this guy, this guy is a workaholic, you know. He does the things that he's asked to do, but like at the same time, when there's no cohesion, he can easily just feel like he's being swallowed up by hey, no Diddy. He swallowed up by Senesi and uh what's his name? Uh Z- Z- Zabani, Zabani, the other center back for Bournemouth. They just pretty much just were had um Hoyland on lockdown. I do not remember a single, single moment of noteworthy moment of um, Rasmus Hoyland. Zero shots attempted. Zero chances created. He's not even supposed to be a chance creator, but he's part of the attacking lineup. He was dispossessed once. He had one pass into the final third. Five touches in the opposition box. Oh my God, it's smelling more and more of dead wood. 007 Asian vibes. That's what you're giving, Rasmus. Reluctantly have to give you the 007 award for this game because he was no not serviced, but also he was also not really prominent. He did not impose himself. So I have to give him just the solid C C plus. I'll leave it at C. Let me see uh where we are with the oh Zama Vegeta says a D. <laughs> An F for Rashi. Oh, Lord, F for failure. Ronald says, give him a C. Okay, C minus. Uh, <laughs> Ronald said an A for A plus for um, Bruno Fernandes. What did he do wrong? Hmm. Bruno Fernandes. Let's see. What did he do wrong? I think um, Bruno's performance, like it was, it was, it was. Oh, what did he do wrong? He he was he was fighting with Onana. Don't you remember that? <laughs> he had a moment where he was fighting with Onana. You're like, bro, bro wow, we're at the Vitality Stadium right now. It's vital for you to be at the, you know, in a team. You know, could like build team vibes, build a togetherness. But that's part of him, right? That's part of his um uh uh. uh character and personality i get it but he didn't provide for hoyland you know how many let's look at his passes all right all right all right ronald let's look at his, how many passes into the final third Ooh, oh ladies and gentlemen you will not believe this bruno fernandez had 22 passes into the final third oh my god 11 out of 16 long balls that means five of those did not go to that intended target. Not bad. Took two corners. He, uh, uh, I see more defensive work than offensive work. That's the problem now. Eight recoveries, five defensive actions, two headed clearances. Not bad. Not bad. He was dribbled past only once. He's more defensive than offensive in this game. And honestly, that could also be a pr- problem with what the. Uh, um, midfield setup and the midfield imbalance is so. Uh, he also did he did he hit the post for us in this game? Was this was this in this game? Yeah, he hit the post. You know what, Ronald? Okay, 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 okay. A. Let's not say A plus. I'll I'll move him to A. I'll move him to an A. The twenty two passes into the final third. Not bad, not too shabby for somebody who's supposed to be finding those 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 passes. But the main thing is I need more from him. I need more connection with him and Hoyland. And that chemistry is not there. Matter of fact, talking about that, I remember a moment where Hoyland was expecting the ball to come short. Bruno is like thinking, no, this ball should go into the box. And it was not even like a long ball, you know. So it's that chemistry that um, is non-existent. It's actually been a little bit underwhelming for me between Bruno and Hoyland. I had a little bit more expectations on it uh, the moment we signed Hoyland. So I really want them to figure it out. And partially it is that. He does, you know, it's a team sport. I'm not going to give you an A plus just like that, Bruno. I'm going to leave you and Hoyland at a C. Hoyland gets a C for me and say, you know, he's had better weeks. Better, better uh, performances in uh, previous weeks. So you know, uh, keep trying, keep working hard, keep working hard. I'm not. I'm gonna be more, more uh, encouraging to Hoyland and say, keep working hard. The goals will come eventually. You know, but Hoyland also needs to be. Uh, 
not just the striker who finishes. I want you to be a striker who also produces chances. You know, when when you are locked up by a center back, you gotta be able to hold the ball up well to be able to feed your other the late midfielder that's running in or the the winger that's come that's coming in as well. You know, uh, um, so Hoyland, that's the next step for you, brother. You should get this grade up to a B soon, especially versus Coventry. Now, let's go to the man. <laughs> the young man, uh, the the Twitter mentioned, the Twitter like dislike Alejandro Ganacho. Oh my God! <sighs> Ganacho, Ganacho, Ganacho. Obviously, not knowing what the manager um had said about Ganacho, I would have been a lot more harsher. But Ganacho had been he had only trained once the whole week. And also, you know, he came in and had an okay performance. And despite, in spite of that um, uh, uh, moment where he missed, he, where, where he had a horrible first touch, which led to the first goal, I still saw, um, I watched the game again yesterday and saw Ganacho tracking back more than Dalo, which was really concerning, which was really concerning for me on the part of Dalo. But Ganacho, I have to give you your um, okay. Uh, performance here, like, okay, to bad. And I think, um, you know, he's just, the workload is too much on him. He's approaching his red zone. He is fatigued. He is tired, Eric. Don't we have those things where they measure, like, when is the player approaching his red zone? Ganacho is definitely in the red zone for me. And, um, yeah, it was just too much on the manager to just throw him in just like that because, Believe it or not, versus Bournemouth, it was his 30th successive start at Manchester United. Oh, Jesus. my God! Jesus is Lord! Now, that's a lot too soon. For a guy who was getting Donny van der Beek minutes last season, he comes in and just starts this season 30 games? Jesus. Eric Ten Hag, it's, this one is on you. So, Ganacho, I'm going to give him less than Hoyland and give him a C-. minus. Really? Ah, then it makes him on par with Rashford. Look at this. We have to change Rashi's grade to a D then. Because Ganacho was marginally better than Rashford for me and slightly below Hoyland. That is my opinion on how he performed, right? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me see. I'm sure somebody... Oh, yes. <laughs> but get out of here, says Ronald. Ronald, you... Get out of here, man. Mark says B, yes, but Mark, you. Get out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, man. The Jetta says, going back, uh, the midfield was ran through. Bruno gets a solid A. Yes, we gave him a solid A. Yale says, Rasmus had 39 touches. 19 carries where three are, are progressive. Uh oh, five dribbles away. Okay, Hoyland had an all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me see. I think we left him at us. I think C C is all right. Yale, you disagree? You disagree? Chelsea dead. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> we won't talk about your team in a moment. But uh, uh, Bruno passes to whom? To Rosie says R ten. He also does. <laughs> Oh, boy. Y'all are some soft, easy graders. How am I disrespecting Bruno, Mark? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Rashford gets a Z from GB. All right, all right, all right. And really, it's going to be a Z for, for Rashi. I feel like a D is all right, you know. D minus is disrespectful. We give E's. I don't think we've ever given an E. Have we given an E? Uh, uh, like, let's not re let's not forget the first half. Come on, GB. Watch that game again. Look at the first half and look at Rashford's performance, and then you'll understand why it's not an F in my book. You know? All right, all right. Ronald says Ganacho gets a light C. Light C. We can at least agree on that. We can agree on that. Uh, you're still not crediting him enough for saving us, says Ronald. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We will talk about this. <laughs> our wingers gave our striker nothing, and they both did not have a good game, says Yale. D, both on Rashford and Ganacho. But that will mean that they really were the same in that performances, and I believe that Ganacho was marginally better than Rashford. Really? 
Everybody says F for Rashford. What the hell are you smoking? What the hell are you talking about? D for disappeared. <laughs> the, Rashford gets an I for invincible. <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right. All right. Let us see. Let's see. Uh, let's go to Eric Turn Hog. Uh, wait, was there any notable sub really? Yes, I think there was. There was uh, when Ganacho came off, we saw Ahmad. We saw Ahmad come in. Ahmad deserves a special shout out. I think how, okay, before I put in my Ahmad grade, I want to see what, what you think, Yale, GB, anybody that's in the chat that's tuned in right now. First of all, remember to hit the like button, if you, even if you don't like the grades. But I want to know what Ahmad gets. Because for me, Ahmad was involved in a couple of link ups he 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 uh he made us look a little bit alive even though his 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 he wasn't like an impact sub so to speak he did not have a uh a, a moment of magic like the only moments of magic were from bruno you know and Ahmad came in. I like that sometimes the ball sticks when he when he it's passed to him you can see him like suck up like uh two or three uh players but but, 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 I want more from Ahmad. So I I have to reluctantly give him this grade. Let's see. Let me see first on the chat what Ahmad gets. A light, light C, light C. GB says C minus. He was given a chance to shine and didn't. I was going to go to, uh, towards a C as well. I was going to go towards the sea. Kings and queens of the North is art. <laughs> this is what you've all been calling for, and he didn't do the job. GB's not impressed with Ahmad at all. I think a light C. Let's do that. Vegeta, you're right. A light C for Ahmad seems, seems reasonable, you know? He needs to do better. He can't come in, and then you're a creative player, Ahmad. Where was the creativity? That's all I'm going to say in the performance remark. Where was the creativity? Maybe we need Amadan, uh, 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 Ramadan Ahmad back. Where was the creativity? <laughs> Ever since Eid Ahmad have been, has not been moving the same. All right, let's go to Eric. <sighs> Yeah, I see the comment in the chat that this man, he used, let's see, how many substitutions did he use out of a possible five? Andoni Ariola used four out of five substitutes. Eric Ten Hag used two out of five up substitutes. Oh, my God! Dead wood, dead wood, dead wood. Dead wood substitutions. He brought in Mason Mount and Ahmad Diallo. We saw more Ahmad than Mason Mount. Matter of fact, there was Christian Eriksen on the bench. What was Eriksen doing on the bench? If he's really crap, show us. Let us see. Let the crap be televised. What was Amrabat doing on the bench? If he's that crap, let us see. Let the Man United faithful decide for themselves because we're already losing this game. We did not look like we were going to win nothing at all. If it wasn't for Bruno, mama me, I would not have got left the house. So, you know... Um, yeah, and also the other guys, the, the, the <laughs> Omar, Omari Fawson. What is he doing on the bench? Ethan Wheatley, are they season ticket holders? Don't call them if you're not going to play them then. Like, come on, even like a few minutes. So they should just get a taste of what the Vitality Stadium feels like when you're playing, not when you're sitting. These guys are going to win win a bench door if Eric Ten Hag keeps on using two out of five. They increased from three to five, Eric. Do something with your with the with the substitutions um, allowances that you have, man. That was not no by no means um, uh, impressive on my from my judgment. I also did not like the fact that um, uh, Eric Ten Hag, you know, he just <sighs> he was shouting. I am always asking him for you know a little bit more vocal on the touchline, but this time around, I I just don't feel like. He knows how to use the tool. Part of a manager, even if you have bad tools, you got to know how bad them tools are. And he does not know. I'm not convinced with Eric. Eric gets a, ah, an E or a D. E for Eric. 
Let's give him a D. Poor subs. Poor in game management. I I miss those those games where you know a manager who can just see what the problem is and say, you know what? Screw the Krispy Kreme donut formation. Throw the Duncan Donuts out the way. Let's stack the midfield. Poor, poor in-game tactics. I am not impressed. I don't know how you feel, but I will not. Yeah. <laughs> no football IQ from Eric Ten Hag, not me. <laughs> no football IQ from Ten Hag. Ten Hag gets a C or a D, says Ronald. Yes. Him to Ten Men. <laughs> GV, <laughs> Ahmad is C. He got past someone. <laughs> look, look at how the standards have fell. Yeah, this is Ahmad gets a C. He got past someone and had a 83.3 pass completion. Well, one pass was a key pass. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we agree on a C for Ahmad Yale. At least, at least we can we can disagree on other grades, but the Ahmad one, I feel like we are on it. D for Eric says Vegeta. Yeah, no, we can agree on that one too. If Bruno gets an A, then Eric Ten Hag gets a C, says R10. Hmm. Word, 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 word. If Bruno gets an A, Eric Ten Hag gets a C. How does that correlate? I want to know how that correlates. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, all right. Now I'm going to share the link. Let's hear Let's hear how you agree or disagree with these grades. I don't give grades to players who played less than 15 minutes for Yale is like incomplete for Mason Mount. <laughs> incomplete. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm going to put the link in the chat. Let me hear how you agree or disagree as we uh, move on from this. Oh, man. What a, what a day that was. What a day that was. When we look at the... Um, how we performed in general, you know, obviously we conceded 20 shots. They had five shots on target, made three big chances. The home team, they, we only created two big chances. And they missed three out of the three big chances. This is crazy to think about. Mama mia. And also not that. The other telling stat about how, who was really, really putting that foot on the neck uh, in these two, uh, between these two uh, teams, is uh, look at Bournemouth. They had seven corners and we only had two. How, 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 Sway? How, Sway? Oh, yes, 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 Vegeta. One thing that I did yesterday was learn how to pin a comment. Let me see if I can remember. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember. Yesterday I wanted to, to 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 stream, but I was like, you know what? Let me learn some things. Let me learn some things. So I'm gonna try and uh, exercise what I learned. There we go. It is pin. Hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning on the job. I'm doing better than Ten Hag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and welcome. Oh, somebody called Bruno A plus. Who is this? <laughs> Who is this, ladies and gentlemen? Let's welcome him to the stage. Bruno A plus, how you doing, fam? You're Deadwood, bro. <laughs> Deadwood, 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 Deadwood. Wow, how, 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 how? Tell me. Now, how can you tell me? How can you say that McTominay has been so integral this season because he saved Eric Den Hag's job on so many occasions, but not do the same for Bruno Fernandez? Bruno Fernandes did not step a foot wrong. He hit the post. He created the most chances. He gave you the two goals. He scored the pen. What else do you need? I need to see more link up from him and Hoyland, bro. From him bro, and Dan Hoyland. Oh, okay. So, yes. okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Yeah. Now, because I got, I got you now. Erl Erling Haaland, right? Is he the only striker who scores when Kevin De Bruyne... Makes an assist to him. No. Then why is the why is the same ask from Bruno? Because here's the thing. I'm basing my grade on my expectation. Bruno is the big chance creator that he is. So when right? Bruno was playing with Kawani, was he creating chances? Listen, he was, he was, he was. But but I actually saw more. I'm glad that you brought Cavani up. I saw a lot more one two pass. Game, remind me one phase of play where there was one-two passing between Bruno and Hoyland. There was, but there that was. just happened once. 
that's the problem the thing is right now bruno like you said like you said like you said he's doing more defensive work than he's doing the offensive work that is because that is what the team requires out of him because if casemiro goes up it's it's the end of days he's not coming back until tomorrow <laughs> stay up bruno stay up don't don't worry about no, casemiro those are the instructions from the manager what can you do about it no 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 you are speculating those are instructions from I'm the not, manager no nah, i'm not speculating bro i've seen this from time just under ole gunnar solskjaer bruno was the player who used to play as a cam mhm Ever and since now, then, he has changed his role. He's he done more defensive defense. work because right. other players other are players incompetent are to do the same. Okay, okay, Ronald. So, okay, all right. I hear, I hear that point. Well, well articulated. So, so yeah, advocating from an A to a what? A plus. Just for a game week. What's wrong with you? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's a strong case. That's a strong case. Fine, 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 fine. A plus. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, he he needs to do more though. To impress me, I need to see Bruno doing like provide. You know, I, I like how you brought up Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne sometimes lays it on a plate. I didn't see a, him serving on a plate anybody in this Bournemouth game. He ended up serving himself. Yeah, know? but then you also like saw that. you I also like saw that. David that. Nunez. He's a miss. chance creator. Listen, no. listen, Ronald. How Hold do on. we have the biggest one of the biggest chance creators in the Premier League, and he's not creating chances for Hoyland? Because we don't play from. Oh Jesus Christ! Again, the basics are so wrong in your head. Do you, okay, no. now let no. me let me ask you a few questions. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Do we play from the middle? Do we what? Do we play from the middle? No, we don't. Uh, here's 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 the thing. Do we play from uh, the sometimes, wing? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's like this. You saw in this Bournemouth game, you saw Onana. Do you know how many long balls he did? I'm asking you a simple question. Do we play from the wing? I'm responding with this question. Did you see how many long balls that Onana did? Yeah, he did. He did a few. Twenty-three long balls. Is that a few? Does that sound like yeah. a few to you? Because he did 22 passes as well in the last third. But go on. What's your point? 23 long balls, right? So so this, you can tell there's already something that means like what trying to find a target to lay the ball, to give the ball to, and then that target is supposed to provide an assist or provide a key pass for somebody. Now, but is that's that what I'm telling you. Way? We don't play. F- okay. Okay. Let me go with your math. Right? Yes. Since you think your math is mathing. So Onana Onana puts the ball in the middle. Bruno, yeah. Casemiro, Kobe Mainu, any three of those receive the ball. The ball yes. doesn't go through the middle. It goes Sometimes on the wing. Natural. It yeah. goes yeah. on the wing. It goes yeah. either either you're a left side tit or right side tit. That's how we play. Yes. Yes. All right. We are more left sided than right sided, depending upon where Rashford is playing. Uh, yes and no. Sometimes it's more to like you saw the first long ball in the 16th minute. It went to Gana to Ganacho, who was on the right. You know? That's what I'm so, saying. Like it just it just depends. yeah. It doesn't go back to Hoyland at all. Even when Bruno gets the ball, he passes either on the left yeah, or the right. Yeah, but, but that's but when that's West our style of play. Right? But from Bruno. but from the Bruno. left or the right, does mm-hmm. Rashford or Garnacho provide for Hoyland? No. Definitely not enough. But and so, that's so the problem. problem. Does Foden so, provide for Erling Haaland? Yes. Foden, Foden provides Does for Haaland or Doku put in a cutback? Right? Does Doku or does Doku or Grealish put in a cutback? They, bro, they do cutbacks for fun at Men's City. Exactly my point. We don't even do that. When was the last time you even saw Rashford attempt one? Rashford is more happy hitting the side netting than provide a cut back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so how what's can you play? Because play? my point is, when we are not playing through the middle, we're playing through the wings. How are you expecting him to put the ball for Hoyland when we're not even doing that? Because that's he's not how we structurally we set up. Because there's phases of play sometimes when the ball is in the middle. These phases of play where I'm, I'm, I remember I brought up the example where Bruno decided to pass the ball into the left half space, 
and Hoyland was coming short. And how many times have you seen this, that Bruno has actually laid the ball off to Hoyland, but he passes it to the right or the left and then moves in the middle? Yeah, that's, I love that you said that. Not enough. That is why, for that, me, it is not, not that, guaranteed to get an A+. Plus. That's exactly you, my point, bro. I love that you and came that's, to and that's that, And that's mad because what you're doing right now is you're talking about the entire damn season, but rating him on a game. No, 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 no. Me, I'm talking about the Bournemouth game. You, that's why I think you, you are confused. That's why I saw in the chat you said, "Is this for the whole season?" Is this no? I'm basically I'm, I'm, now. I know you're talking about this game, but Bournemouth even in this game. game, Bruno had a very good game. He had a With very the nine good game. Deserves an A. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, no, no, give me your like argument. Give me your argument. Green. Apart, listen, listen to me. What you're talking about, we've not done the entire season. Okay. So don't mm-hmm. don't act brand new for 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 a game. <laughs> let's not act brand new, right? If you've not done something for the entire season, don't act brand new that we've been doing that from time. So tell me, what did Bruno not do in that one game that doesn't warrant him the A plus? Because okay, I hear what you're saying. We don't. We, he did not provide enough to Hoyland. Man's not done that for the entire season. No one's done that for entire season. Mason Mount never did that. Ericsson hasn't done that. So don't tell me anyone provides for Hoyland and Bruno doesn't. But tell so, me so, what Bruno so did not do in that game. Systematically wrong. Because now, uh, now no. when you're talking about that, you're talking about not the game basis. You're talking about the entire season basis. No, 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 no. Don't you think there's something that is wrong to see, uh, to have a player like Bruno Fernandes, who's a big chance creator, not creating enough chances for Hoyland? Don't you think that's, there's something wrong with but that? that? That's, isn't that a stupid argument? Because he's creating enough charges, chances for Garnacho and Rashford to score, and they're not scoring. So what's the argument? I'm asking you. Would don't you, you be making that? Okay, so Poppy, would, Poppy, were you making this argument last season when Bruno was providing for the wings? Forget last season. We're talking about. No, no, no. See, 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 see. Now I have you on ropes. Now I have no, you on ropes. No, 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 you were no, not no, complaining no. about this because we were scoring goals. <laughs> uh, uh. So, so listen, 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 listen. Okay, boxes. It wasn't a plus for Bruno. He was man of the match, but it wasn't one of his best performances. Nah. Uh, look, look, Bruno had a vegetables. Bruno had you a good game. Have I the weirdest shit I can ever imagine in life. People expect the highest grade from damn Bruno Fernandez, but are happy to give Rashford a fucking C just because he did two cutbacks. He ran twice back just because. One thing I know for sure. Yeah. Being uh-huh. on the YouTube scene and being around spaces and everything for the last two years, one thing I know for sure, our fan base, including everyone I know, is tapped. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's 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 consult. Very let's emotional. consult another red. Let's consult another red and see if A or A plus should be Bruno's grade, right? Some people in the chat are saying that, but let's see. Top red, Mr. Kenny, what you doing? How you doing, fam? Big up, big up. Yo, um, yo, big up, Papi. Can you hear me, guys? You can hear us. Ronald and I are going back and forth. Should it be A? Should it be A plus? Where are you? Uh, for me, for um, uh, for Bruno, A plus. Okay. All right. And and what's your what's your um uh, uh, basis on the A plus? W- what merits him an A plus? For me personally, for me personally, um, for me, he he has he has absolutely. He has absolutely given his himself all for um, himself all for the game. That's what that's what I've, I've seen it. I, that's what I've I've seen the game of him. So so personally for me, he he absolutely did his best. So he was the one who, who was leading. He was the one who was literally shouting at the players to just to just tra- to just ask the midfielders to even track back as well. He was literally mm-hmm. shouting the whole game. For me personally, he was just leading. To, he was just leading the team. Yeah, and and by the way, by the way, I'm 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 saying a it's not because I hate him. I actually have a big, 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 big place for Bruno in my heart. I love the guy. Yeah. I love the allow it. Allow it. <laughs> allow I it. Love it. Captain Damn. Magnifico. You know. <laughs> and okay, um, all right. Uh, Papi, we'll leave Papi, that. Papi, Papi, what what Papi. other grade do you do you have Papi. a qualm with, Ron uh, Sashiv? Papi, I have a big problem with like with like Rashford. Rashford deserves an E. 
Okay. Because I'll be honest, but if Rashford, if Rashford had the same professionalism and ethic that Bruno has, Rashford would be actually sitting higher above Mbappe. Mm. Rashford is in for me. No, okay, why, 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 Sashiv? Just don't just give the grade. Tell us why. There was a moment in the first half where he just he he just there was a, there was a simple chance to even to basically cut back. What did he do? He basically he basically shot shot from a uh, shot um, um in the uh, um uh, at the side net. And yes. and in in the second half in the second half he was non-existent, over dribbling as per usual. He he definitely definitely just sort of like dwindled away in the second half. I d- that I can agree with you. Like he needs to to uh, up his game. He needs to make sure that he shows up when 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 especially when his other teammates are trying to work with him. He ignoring the over. Uh, it might have been Wan Bisaka who was doing an overlap. That was just like and bro. and and bots. That's the worst part because of him being in that position. It doesn't warrant Manchester United to get another left wing. Who do we have as a left wing at the club? Because this man is sitting in that position and they've kept him at that pedestal, no one as a left wing can come in. Close. When was the last time we were even in the market to look for a left wing? Sancho Sancho said, I I love left wing. Now he plays for Dortmund. (laughs) <laughs> Sancho is still employed by Man United, so you know. <laughs> yeah, he, he plays for Dortmund, and yes, there are issues with the manager in there, absolutely. But if you remember his statement, he said there are more underlying issues. If you remember the statement in itself, right? If you can yeah. find that, just read that again. He doesn't really go ahead and attack the manager himself, but he's saying there are other issues that he doesn't even want to bring up or talk about. Because he knows it's going to hurt emotions and people that he actually cares about. Because obviously they are man them. I, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear you. I hear you. Um, um, Ronald, you, have you, you saw the other grades. You agree with the Onana grade as well and the Wan Bisaka. Nah, and drop Onana grade. back to what you had it before. I apologize. I thought you were talking about the season back then. So a D can be warranted about that. No problem. Oh, Nana should be a D. Uh, what about Dalo? Ronald. Dalo is okay. Yeah, he got cooked, but still fair enough. You know, happens. Kambuala got cooked too. Bad, pretty bad. Kambuala went down like Van der Ven. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it was a weekend to forget for Kambuala, I think. Um, okay, all right, all right. I think these are, these are, let me see if there's anybody else that... Uh, disagrees and uh, with these grades, Vegeta went with an A. By the way, he was like, "Okay, um, leave him I uh, I have to say, Garnacho for me has to be D. Has to be D for Garnacho because because he wasn't he wasn't really good in the first half, in my honest opinion. And uh, and and for the first goal, for the first and and the second goal, he 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 didn't really try it back. Yeah. And, and and literally and literally Ten Hag said during his his uh, his his post match interview, he said he basically said that the right hand side was was literally was literally like the main issue. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, uh, Ronald, you you agree with with Ganacho being a D? I mean, he didn't make a case for himself really. To uh... I'm okay. I'm okay with the C minus. Man's tired. Man's young. Ma- he yeah, wasn't even yeah, wasn't even match he, fit. He actually, he didn't even have proper fitness. But then again, you know that just goes on to tell me a lot about the manager and the team and where we are in itself. Because if this guy was not training and match fit, but the manager still had confidence in him, mm. how bad was Sancho that he did not? Well, he was not able to build that confidence. Like, what actually went wrong? Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one that like I I, I think he just needs so, like in the games. game in itself. Mm-hmm. Fair enough, you know. I'm I'm actually happy that he was taken off because I was able to see Ahmed minutes. I do want to see Ahmed Diallo play a few more games, get a get a rhythm, get a ring because I think he's going to be very integral for us next season. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be more involved than he already is right now because there is going to be a breaking point. I think 
this season, the management, everyone at the club has seen enough of Rashford to kind of understand, yeah, that's just a brat. It's just not a player. Doesn't He says he plays for the batch, and there might be some underlying issues that we are not aware about. But at the end of the day, you still got to pull up. You still got to put in your 100%, right? So I think next season, it would be left wing uh, Garnacho and uh, Rashford, you know, interchanging in, amongst themselves. But the right wing would be more Ahmed Diallo and Anthony. I, I just have a good feeling about that. Sancho, I don't know uh, if he gets sold. God bless. But yeah. So, um, so basically, so so basically, do you guys think? Do you guys think like Greenwood? Greenwood will like come back. Oh, don't go there, Sashiv. Don't go there. Don't don't go to Greenwood right now. Let's let's just start. Uh, let the club take that decision and let's not talk about it until the exactly. club has made a decision. Apologies, exactly. apologies. It's a lovely Tuesday right now. Let's uh, <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> and also, 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 it's Taco let's Tuesday. Welcome, let's welcome uh, men like Shay. Shay, Shay, Shay. I have a bottle of water. How are you doing? Shay, Shay, how are you doing? Uh, Shay. Shay, I Shay, I just saw I just saw like a lot of uh, like a lot of like us awesome fan um YouTube content creators they were they were in the meltdown they were just they were just being being so over uh, like overreacting and uh, especially this this guy called like but I have Uri. to I'm sorry Shay uh, Sasha I'm sorry uh but I bought I yeah. have to leave so I have to duty calls I need to drop but Shay hold that you bloody bottle job you just had one job. And you bottled it. And you know what? Today, you're going to hold it as well. Mm. Buy in Munich, bro. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, see see how the man has gone from drinking beer to now juices? Yes. <laughs> well, <to> you. <laughs> hey. oh, has anybody seen Shay? Has anybody seen Mikel <laughs> Oh, Shay, 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 Shay. <laughs> Man, let's Yo, actually transition. Yo, Pampi, I was, uh, Pampi, I want to, uh, yeah, I, I want to say something about the, the, just, I just want to address a little bit on the, on the Arsenal YouTube content creators. I don't understand, like, why, why did they lose their minds on, like, on, like, Arteta? I mean, come on, man, like, Arsenal are just still two points behind, behind CK at the moment. Like, like, the, like, the league title is not even over yet. No, it's, it's, it's not, not over. over. It's not like, over. like literally, like, 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 yeah. like, honestly, like, like, uh, like, I want to ask, like, uh, like, especially Kadish Shaw TV, how can you say, like, 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 sack a manager after after just one loss in twenty twenty four? This is ridiculous for me, absolutely ridiculous. How can you say sack a manager? Yes, he he, he made a mistake. He 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 made a mistake in in a starting eleven. He 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 put Havertz in the midfield, and like he he basically shouldn't have done it. Like mm. it's, it's just one mistake, and and uh, and he has to learn from it. Simple as that. Shay, do you want uh, Arteta sacked or no? Where where are you as an Arsenal fan? Do you want to keep him next season? Uh, are you? Are, where are you? No, he's. I think he said he's done. <laughs> Sack. Oh, on the fence. Oh, on the fence. Just like, <laughs> just like. Just like Ten Hag Fence League, it's, and now it's more like Arteta Fence League. <laughs> Arteta Fence League exists, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're muted. You're muted, Shay. Hold on. Let me unmute yeah, you. Uh, yeah. Shay, you're muted. Okay, there we go. Say that again. No, he's muted again. <laughs> can hear you. Shay, you're oh, muted. Not sounding. The sound is like the Arsenal football club, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so anyway, anyway, yeah, I think I think we're gonna end that with these grades right here. Unless where is Mark, who was out here running his mouth on the chat, saying, "Oh, yeah, oh you're yeah, Mark, just... <laughs> where's Mark, bro? <laughs> I mean, you chatting rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy." Oh, I, I start to feel like you know that the people that have had uh 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 anyway whatever like Mark you you can defend your opinion yeah, the link is yeah, in the chat it's, it's been yeah, yeah, but fine, anyway actually. let's transition to 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 um the Premier League uh let's look at how everybody um did and how the I Premier have, League I have done 
turn, I've done horribly, to be honest with you. Like, like, like she don't even ask me anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have not looked at them yet. So uh, all I know is that I looked at the Newcastle versus Spurs game. And that one, we know that it ended with Newcastle winning 4-0. And Shay, congrats to you for being the person that predicted the 4-0. The only person that got that, that prediction right. Look at that, Shay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Congrats. Congrats, bro. Like this, this part here was was impressive. No, nobody saw this coming. Like you Yeah, did. no one, no one saw it coming, man. Like you know? I thought I thought I thought I thought Spurs is actually kind of a different team. Not like not like the last not like the last year's Conte Spurs. But like literally mm-hmm. I don't it's mad. Like so, it's it's crazy. It, it is ridiculous. Like like how Newcastle have like the least of possession against Spurs and and yet and yet still I hear a little echo now. That means Shay is probably connected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, here's the thing: the the high line, the high line is 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 going to be the death of uh, uh, Postecoglou, and and uh, if you saw how they conceded the first goal, whatever, Van de Ven, uh, he, he, yeah. he was like on a race to track like, back. Like, like Papi, Papi, don't get me wrong. He is he is a decent. He's a decent player for for Spurs, right? Mm-hmm. I don't understand like how how the Spurs fans they just they just overhype like Van der Ven, like as if he's the next he's the next Virgil Van Dyke. They were a lot of hype around Spurs. So I mean, it's because so he's also fast, you know, Sashiv. Like I think that's you know he's one of the fastest centre backs in the Premier League, you know. And bro, and, I couldn't. And... I bro, honestly, I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. They 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 just they just overhype him. Well, he had too much hype. Well, yeah. well, he definitely, uh, uh, you know, was trying to break dance on the pitch <laughs> on, on Sunday. So, so anyway, yeah. so that led to Spurs le- losing four zero. It wasn't only Van de Ven's fa- fault, by the way. The fourth goal was uh, from a corner kick from from Newcastle. Shah scored. Um, also, Isak also scored, and I think oh, I Anthony. Gordon. As well, yeah, scored. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was quite, quite at the first half. That game was done more or less in the first half for for Newcastle. Anyway, and and um, yeah, the yeah, next, the next picture that we have, have to have talk about, about is. is yeah, I hear my yeah, echo again. Yes. Okay, let's see. Brentford won two nil versus Sheffield United. Oh, Brentford, you got it right. You two got it nil. Right. Oh, I got it right. Who else? Who else? Am I the only one? Come on. Get in. All right. Taco got it correct. Mental yeah. game. Got predicted the outcome. Mark, Mark. Oh, Mark is in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, emotional. <laughs> there he is. Uh, Ronald, Ronald got it, got correct. it correct. Drex also got it correct. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, Herb, Superb Luan, and everybody else here except Yale and Mark are the 007 agents of this year. I'm a 007 agent also because I'm big up to lose. You said what? You said what? <laughs> I predicted they seek to lose. Yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Manchester City versus Luton Town was 5 1, Shay. And. Ronald! Man like Ronald got it right. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh. Taco, mental ball game. Everybody predicted a city win. I think that's good. That's good. That was expected. Uh, city win, city win. Except Shay. Shay thought it was going to be a draw. <laughs> Who else? Uh, Dominique Munch and Steffi Jenkins. Shout out to my YouTube wife. Steffi Jenkins also got it correct. GB 
Got it correct. Nice. Now, the other fixture to talk about was Forest versus Wolves. Taco, I never uh, got Taco. Damn it, man. It, it was a draw. Forest versus Wolves was a 2 2 draw. Bro, bro, it, Forest. Like, Forest, they just bought the lead, man. Like, yeah, but, but you know, it was the Matez Cunha show because he actually had a really nice goal. His first goal, he fed yeah, it off yeah, like yeah. two or yeah, three goal defenders. And really did well. So Maltiti's corner predicted the two-two. Who else? Mark oh, predicted yeah. a two-two. Who else? Oh no. Um, box uh, pre the predicted a two-two. Bigger box. Okay. Stephanie. Whoa. There's a lot of people that got this two-two right. And oh, Jebe and Rebe and GB also predicted the two-two. You get your points. And Yale said it was gonna be one-one. Jarvis said it was going to be 1-1. One, one. Who else? Omo said it was going to be 1-1. One, one. And that's it. That's I mean, it. That's a lot it. of people that... predicted a draw. My God. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who would have thought that the Forest Wolves game would have the most yellows, the most accurate predictions? I should have gone with the 2-2, two, two, you know. Anyway, uh, Burnley versus Brighton. This was another, another, another fun match to watch because Burnley <laughs> drew oh. one. <laughs> Deserve and, ball. Deserve ball. Yeah. yeah. And Burnley threw it away, you know. It was because of, um, what's his name? Uh, Murick, the goalkeeper for Burnley, who just couldn't trap the ball. He received Papi, a single Papi. Bro, Papi, I should have predicted the Burnley draw, man. I, I, I just realized, like, I could, should have thought about that. I thought Burnley has something, but yeah, just let one on It is what it is. Only Steffi Jenkins, Yale, and Mark got the one-one correcto. Who else? Who else? Uh, Jen gets gets points for the for predicting a draw as well, or gets a point for predicting a draw, and also Ronald. Also, oh, it's gonna be a good week for Ronald. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Who else? Who else? Who else? That's it. Okay, now Liverpool. -poo. Talking about, let me drink some water. Mm. Yo, yo, papi, 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 just, uh, papi, um, uh, Ronald is, uh, is waiting. Ronald is here again. Oh, man, yeah, he did he get his flowers because he predicted all these pictures, right? <laughs> okay, let's welcome Ronald back again. What's up? <laughs> I'm here to collect. <laughs> You're here to collect. Oh, <laughs> uh, my bro, my oh, bro, my bro. Match, match respect. Dead, bro. respect, respect, nah, respect. I'll be honest, I was so wrong about the Newcastle game. I can't be uh, that. That one did hurt me a lot. I was like, wow, that's bad. What's the process, man? <laughs> which, which process, bro? There's so many processes going on right now. I can't lie. <laughs> I have to ask which process are we talking about? <laughs> no, let's see if anybody got the palace upset correct. I don't think anybody. I think so people people did. Everybody was. I think someone, like, someone did, someone did actually. I think someone. Wait, oh, I, I can only, see, I can only see the Newcastle, Brentford, and Luton game on screen. Okay, let me. Oh, do okay, this. now I see it. Oh, there are so Brentford, many people who got that right. This prediction, right? Shay got the Palace prediction, Palace win in there. Who else? And that's it. That's it. Everybody else. Oh, well, ah, oh. and also you know, Palace, Palace man. It was the I think the eighth time in total that um, what's his name? Uh, Olisa and Eze played together. These guys, Ronald, remind me of a uh, um. You know, back then when Rashford used to be all right and we had Martial also fit, you know, like, it's like, when mm -hmm. are we going to play them all together in the same attacking lineup? It's like they, are, they have that versions of those guys. And when, when they click, they really click. Mateta was looking good as it was causing problems for Connor Bradley. Olise was cooking Robertson and Van Dijk. Bro, it was this was a beautiful, beautiful game to watch. Could Not you just move the XL to the right side so viewers can also see who who got the points for the Palace and the Liverpool game because we can only see till Wolves right now. Oh, now it's right, coming. Right, all right, let's do this. Let me oh, make now it. it is there. Yeah, oh, wow! Only one person actually got it right. 
Wow. Two people, man. Two people. Matter of fact, let me switch up the view so that really we can all see because right now it's a little, little messy. Here we go. We're going to do this view. Boom. All right. All right. All right. Now, now the screen is going to be big enough for everybody to see everything. All right. There we go. And, uh, and we're back. Boom. We're back. There we go. No, we're back to what it was before. <laughs> it just changed for oh, a really? second. No, no, um, that's what I think is better. Um, Papi, try making two hundred percent. Now, yeah, now it's better. good. Yeah, perfect. Now we're, now we're perfect. Now we're good. Now we here. We here. We here now. Okay. All right. All right. Now uh, we said Liverpool were done with Liverpool Palace. West Ham lost to Fulham. Andres Pereira show. It was Andres Pereira with a brace. Boy, that boy is on fire too. 2-0 to Fulham. Anybody predict the Fulham win? Mm, Taco. Taco did. Taco, Fulham win. Uh, the, yeah. Mental ball game, Fulham win. Nice. City's corner, Fulham win. No, nice. Mount TT got it right. That's good. Yeah, Mount TT is on fire. Uh, I, I, uh, I, 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 I predicted a draw. Damn it. Yeah, I did a draw too. Shit. Tiffany. Stephanie oh. has had the, has had a good week. Can't lie. Stephanie's week I might, is. <laughs> I might probably. I might. I might probably drop to six today, man. I swear. I was on fourth last week. I might drop yeah. to six this week. Hey! Shout out! Shout out to Steffi Jenkins. Yo! Yes! Big, big up! Big up! Big up to the to wifey. Yo, guys! Guys! There's a community post already up for Champions League. If you haven't given your Champions League prediction, kindly do so on the community post, or you can comment on this video after at the end of the video. Helps boost the algorithm as well. So. Whatever, whatever you can, please do. Um, I think that's it. Who else? Who else predicted a Fulham win? No one. No um, one. Everyone went to the draw. Um, no. <laughs> and then Asna, 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 Asna. Uh, they have one job, man. At least you could have given me a point, man. Bloody hell. <laughs> I know, Asna. Asna, man. Villa mental ball game was right. Two one. Anybody wow. else? I think he's the only one who's right. No one else is. Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> All right. What about Chelsea with the thumping? Guys, if there is somebody who stands out in match day, 20, uh, match day 33, it's Cole Palmer, who scored four goals to make himself joint top goal scorer right now of the Premier League he scored and Chelsea was scoring for fun. 6-0. No, I'm not going to lie. Everton needs to get relegated after this game. Seriously. Seriously, yeah. man. Uh, You're yeah. so bad. Seriously. I mean, I mean, Everton, Everton, you had one job, man. <laughs> <laughs> one job. Not to, not to mess it up. And they, you know, like, I. it's crazy because I thought, I thought uh, they were going to win. My friend, this is a message that I got from my friend, by the way, who supports Everton. She said, she said, um, I'm starting, here, here's, here's the thing. She said, I'm starting to, these last three years of being an Everton fan have made me question my life. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Why? Why is everything doing, doing this to its fans? That's already tough with FFP, you know. But they should have at least at least beat the punching bag of the I mean beat Chelsea because Chelsea have been not so good, you know. Um but okay, who else? Um Rebe also predicted a 3 0 Everton. <laughs> No, no, it's Chelsea win. No, Chelsea won. Chelsea win, sorry. I nearly gave Chavez <laughs> 20 million deserves. Yeah. Uh, Shea said 3 0. Chelsea. And Nunge as well. He got something. Dominic. And GB. Well, thankfully, th thankfully, Manj only got four points. Right, right, right. By the way, Shay, unmute yourself uh, when you're talking, okay? You, what, what, because you don't I have hear to check that. and Manchester United at all. You don't have to check it. <laughs> no <one got it. laughs> Thank you for telling me because you that was 
Two all draw. Let's see. Anybody predict a draw? Nobody. 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 Uh, Jarvis. No oh, no, wait. No, Jarvis did. Charlie. Yale. Yale. Yale did 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Yale. <laughs> Yale got lucky. Juge. Below, below, below. Yeah, they're right there. Damn. That was oh, a joke. Jeez, 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 jeez. That's match day 33. And uh, we shall have a, another stream where we add 33 to the table because right now, currently, the table needs to be under VAR review because I think uh, there is a, 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 a Mark and Luen. No, Luen is fine. I think Mark deserves one more point. I were doing would somebody Luen was helping uh, just to double check all the calculations and figured out that Mark deserves one more point to make it one one three. But I do not want to do it right now. We'll do a VAR review and tabulate match day thirty three right here on the next stream. Uh, can I put my predictions in for Champions League night? Oh, or yeah, have you done yeah, that already? Right. All right. Since we're here, we might as well go ahead to Champions League nights, second leg. Let's put Good them. Job, all right. All right. This was this is Champions League. And uh second leg. Let me duplicate this. Boom. All right. Quarterfinal, second leg. And let me clear this. away that all right so ronald we have you right here bayern versus the asana asana let's oh, no, let's start with Shay for this one no let's start yeah let's say lead the yeah, way Shea, this Shea. Is yeah, yeah Shea, that's for you unmute yourself now shay don't wake be shy. up don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me unmute him. Maybe he can't find the unmute button. I was I had muted him because I could hear the echo. Let me see. Boom. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. yes. What, what's your prediction, Shay? Two nil. Three nil to who? You know Bayern? To my boys, the mighty gooners. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trolling you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. What about what City Madrid, Shay? Madrid's going to win it. But 1-0. What about Ooh. Dortmund Atletico? Dortmund will lose this. By 1-2-0. 3-0 Atletico. He said 3 0 or 2 0? 3 0. Then it's Barcelona so versus PSG. I think PSG is going to win it by 2 0. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. PSG to win it by 2 0. Kylian Mbappe brace or a yeah. score? What do you think? Who's going to score those for PSG? Kylian Mbappe and Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> what about for Arsenal? Who's scoring those two goals? Saka, my number seven, with that amazing goal. I'm Get out of here, man! Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Saka ain't scoring nothing, fam. <laughs> limping merchant, limping. He's just right. He's limping. <laughs> okay, okay. Now let's go. Let's actually now also go to Ronald. Right. Actually, it's a shift. Let's start with you. What are you saying? Let's, Bayern, let's, let's all do it now. Now, let's all do it now. Yeah, we'll start with Sachev. Okay, sure. Shiv, um, okay, let's go. Um, I'm going with uh, two one Bayern Munich. Two one. And Bayern. What about City Madrid? No, no, no. Let, let, let's like do one game at a time. Yeah, let's say on, on Bayern Munich Arsenal. Ronald go, and then I'll give my my Bayern Arsenal. If wow. you're in the chat too, kindly also give us your prediction if you want. But also, you can also save it for the community post, whatever you prefer. Um, what are you saying, Ronald? Three one. You won Bayern. Yes, because Bayern's pissed. Keep in mind, Bayern's pissed because Leverkusen has taken their title. So Bayern's coming in with all guns blazing for this tournament because that's the only thing they've left to win. 
So right. I think it's going to be a 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil buy-in. 2-1. Okay. 2-1 buy-in. <laughs> I nearly thought... I know, I know, I know. I was like, this one is gonna be buying in 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 open play edit uh, before we even get to uh, extra time. Bayern Munich is gonna win. What about uh, Manchester City versus Madrid? Such a Uh, leaders. Okay, 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 sure. Um, Either way, Man City, Man City, Man City. Oh, it said the ATR right. Mm. Yeah, the ATR is dangerous as hell, man. Uh, it's going to be close though, but I feel it's it's yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be two one city. Really huge feeling. Why well, you That's, you're saying you're saying Madrid's going to get knocked out? That's I mean that's just uh, um that's just my gut feeling. Oh my god! Wow, that's a, that's a wow. So the tra- they're going to defend the treble. Yeah. Mm. It's a tough one to take. Uh, yeah, what, it, is, it is a tough you know, one to take. It is a tough one to take. Let me give yeah, mine. One. This one is going to be sorted out in penalties. It's going to be 2-2, and it's going to go to pens. And Real Madrid will go through. So we have wait we have Barcelona PSG and Dortmund Atletico today right? Yes. And then yeah. tomorrow we have Bayern and Manchester City. Uh, for me, what was their last last score? Three three. Three three. You know what? Three one Madrid. Ooh, three one Madrid. Okay. Uh, hope you're uh, right. Hope you're right, Ronald. Hope you're right. I know I'm right. Hope Ronald, right. you made me say 3-2 Madrid now. I don't think it's going to go to penalties anymore. <laughs> Pop, Poppy. And, and even if it does, Poppy, we'll, we'll just add Poppy. our scores, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Poppy, so, Shiv, Poppy. what are you saying? Poppy, I'll, I'll change my mind. 2-1, two, one, two, one Madrid. F it. Let's go. You know, so, so the real thing is that Pep yeah, will have one. the fan base behind him. That's true. However, by like Madrid is Madrid. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you can win over them because last time when City won, I think they won the final with them. No. Yeah. Wait, who did City beat in the final? Yes, yes. The, Rodri, so you can Rodri, beat them in one game, but two. When they know the what tall, you're doing. Uh, the tall order. <laughs> and, and they went strong in the league just last last game. They went strong. The only one rested out was Foden. And how diff- how much difference can Foden make? I know I might bite my own words by saying that, but 3-1. 3-1 Real Madrid. We will be there. Okay, let's go to Dortmund Atletico. Uh, Dortmund Atletico. I think the previous game was Atletico two, Dortmund one. So this game, I would, I would actually go with three, three two, Atletico. Three two Atletico. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think uh, about I'll, it. I'll go with two one again, Atletico. Two one again. One to Atletico. Just, just don't um, want to see Dortmund win it. Yeah, I actually feel like you may, you may be, you may be onto something here. Shay said three nil Atletico. Sashiv, what are you say, bro? I feel like I feel like I feel like you know, are really, really, uh, really disrespecting Dortmund at home. You know, like yes, Dortmund, we are Dortmund, specifically Dortmund, Dortmund. because of Sancho. Yes, fair enough. <laughs> But this is but, an emotional but, prediction. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, but I'll be I'll be really honest with you. Uh, but I'll be honest with you because of the home advantage. I I think I think it's I think Dortmund will just edge it. So I'm going with three two three two Dortmund. Three two Dortmund. Yo, oh. <laughs> you look at him. I missed this comment box. 
<laughs> but you're right, uh, though. Oh, 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 oh. is a better baller than Haaland. That's that's for I, sure. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Steffi. By the way, Steffi, earlier on you only got the Burnley Brighton one correct. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Arjun said update three two City. Okay. Okay. Three uh, two Manchester City. Uh, Let's see. Let me make sure I have that one in there. Two three. City. All right. And then Sashiv, you just said Dortmund is gonna win. Uh, three two. Three. Three two. Three two. Three, two. Hey, I'm so undecided on this one. I know Dortmund is so good at home, but it's Atletico, the king of slowing the game down. The, the dark arts, bro. Dark arts are going to prevail. It's going to be 2-0 Dortmund. 2-0 Atletico. Home advantage, home advantage puppy. Remember. Okay, home advantage is going to allow them to score one. 2-1 Dortmund. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the thing is, such if you have to understand, they're actually relying on Sancho's brilliance. And I know Sancho can do some for them, but against Atletico's midfield, it's very difficult for them to actually pull off a win. Um, uh, Arten is saying, Arten is saying 3-2 City. You may have written 3-2 Madrid for, for Arten. Oh, 3-2 City, you're right. Oh, my goodness. Really? R10? You think City's got... <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will be there. We will be there tomorrow. We are definitely doing the watch along for that one. Today, I don't know if I'll be able to do the watch along. For the Barcelona PSG, that's a good one. That's you know? a good match. How, how did the previous one end? It was, it was three two three two Barcelona. Barca PSG. Barca PSG ended. Um, Barca night as well. Three two Barcelona. First leg, yeah. First leg, and now Barcelona is at home. Three two PSG. So it's gonna be decided in pens. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or actually three one. PSG. 3-1 PSG. You just stayed with 3-2, Ronald. Nah, 3-1. Let's go. Ah, you sure? Okay. Yeah, okay. We will, what we will be there. We will be there, bro. Um, bro, we will uh, be there in about three hours. Bots oh, will yeah. be there watching the game. But we'll do it at the end of the game because, like, I, I'll be in a little meeting at the beginning of the the game. But like, you know, after the meeting, I'm definitely gonna come in and we'll react to it. Um, hopefully, hopefully they don't see me jumping in the Zoom meeting. You know, I'm, I'm gonna have the, the game <laughs> one. <laughs> it's hard not to stay animated. Okay, um, what are you saying, Asashev, bro, about this Barca PSG game? I've, um Barcelona at home um two uh, two one Barca yeah I'm more agreeing with you Sajid. you know like like uh, yeah I was gonna say three two PSG but then I feel like all my score predictions is just agreeing with Ronald and just <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I was like, copycat. Look at this. Nah, copycat. don't agree with me. Change your, change your, change your prediction. Don't, don't, don't agree with me. Change. Yeah, it. yeah. I, I might it's, be a downfall. You know you're, you're gonna be a downfall. Matter of fact, it's gonna be two-two. PSG is gonna be in penalties, and Barcelona will go through. All right. <laughs> Wait, how? Right. How is? The, how? How are they going to be pens if it's two-two? Oh, because it's 3-2 Barca right now already. So it's going to end 2-2. Oh, yeah. And Barca is going to go through. There we go. 2-2. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah that's and, fair enough. Yeah. And Barcelona will go through. R10, I need your Dortmund Atletico. Unless you want to save it. I get my me. predictions right, bots. <laughs> You're not getting them right. <laughs> you are not. I'll be, a, I'll be a chaos in this stream. Uh, <laughs> I will make you do it for three hours. Oh, Lord. I'm in late and make you stay longer. Pause. <laughs> oh, Lord. Pause, pause, pause. Yo, Arten, Arten, what did he, Arten say? Um, uh, Arten is saying 3 1 Barcelona. Arten is saying 3 1. Okay. 
Juan Barca is in there, and then the Atletico game. Let's see. Atletico is gonna end two one. Atletico. I, I think- I think Mbappe is gonna Mbappe is gonna you know get that sniff of the Real Madrid blood. He's gonna be he's gonna be there at the game. Audition, audition he has, time. He has to show up anyways next season for for Real Madrid at that at that club, at that stadium. So he might as well start today. Yo, yo, yo. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. I, I, oh, so which I, one out of, out of your predictions, which one are you the most doubtful about? The Barca PSG. Out of all your predictions. So you're confident that, yes, Bayern is going to beat Arsenal. Madrid oh, yeah. is beating City. Atletico is clapping. That's the second least confident one. That's the second least confident one. Because, because here's the thing. The Etihad... Uh, um, you know, those has no fans, man. I saw the videos of him like training, training them, and he's like, This is how I like to play football, like, bigging them up so yeah, much. But then, but I, then also, I felt but then I also saw, I also saw a video of him just giving instructions to demons. No one was right <laughs> next to him, he was just giving instructions to air. What, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's if he overthinks it. Like, 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 there's a possibility he could overthink it, like he has done before. But, but I feel like he will um, uh, get his players to really, really, really pump those two goals in early, and I, then Real Madrid is going to come. On a low key, back. on a low key, I just hope when Vini comes here, he just smells the red side of the Manchester as well. And he's like, yeah, I might have some. I might have some of that next season. <laughs> Yo, that's true. But look, this does Box not have a great point about this? Benzema was instrumental at the Etihad last year. That's true. That, that is very true. They don't have Benzema anymore, you know. That is true, but they have Bellingham. They have Vinicius <sighs> Jr., the Rodrigo, yeah. the Chuomeni. I think. Oh wait, Chomeni's gonna miss this game, no? Is he gonna double, miss? Let's double check. They have. I think they have... is going to miss this game. Ooh, yes, oh. Chomeni suspended. Yep. Oh, that actually is a game changer because Cruz Camavinga. Cruz is gonna get tired. Rudiger is right? gonna. Rudiger is gonna come back. But then they can always call on uh, what's his name? Uh, Valverde. Uh, Modric, Valverde, Modric, Camavinga, they're, yeah. they're players for days in that midfield. Vegeta says football heritage will show up. Let's see, let's see. Let's let's see, see. All right, all right, all right. Well, thank you, thank you for putting the predictions in the community post, by the way. Thank you so much for that. Bellingham needs to stand up, says Box. Yeah, oh, you know, it, it really. Bellingham- Really depends Bellingham on needs to, Bellingham needs to Bellingham needs to take a revenge for real man. He needs to take a revenge against against, <laughs> against City. Let's not forget their 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 goal their goalkeeper. <laughs> Luden. They, they, they Luden. might have this guy uh, Adra yeah, Guler. But... They, they might Luden. have Adra Guler playing as well in this game. Who's that? This sounds like some salad. You said Ar- Aragula salad. Who? Guler, Guler, or whatever Art, his name is. Art Guler. He's a, he's a young kid. He's nineteen. He's their upcoming kid. You think he can he can be confident at the Etihad? He's a, he's a, he's a midfielder. Yeah, bro. When you're at Real Madrid, you're confident. Come on, like let let's be honest. Tell yeah, me any the, any Etihad, player. He's playing for Real Madrid, but he's playing at the Etihad. That's the problem, Ronald. That's the problem. Believe, Etihad believe. is. is Okay, okay, bots. Let me ask you a quick question, right? Trivia. Which which stadium is more feared in Premier League, Anfield or Etihad? Anfield. Yeah. So what are we talking? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the thing about it is 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 the etihad is like where they you know they bro they they they've been beating teams though like over there and and not only that it's like yeah, but they've also they been drawing to teams like chelsea they have the kevin de bruyne boost 
right? They beat it was three three last time without De Bruyne playing. Now De Bruyne is gonna be here. Kyle Walker is gonna be here, bro. Ah, now and you that's see where now you mess up. That is on where my that on my is where he would mess. That is where Pep would mess up, because the De Bruyne boost is gonna mess with his head. What what if Rodri goes down in the first ten minutes of the game? Out for the game. No, Rodri, what if? Rodri will go down because because of a red card, but not because of like his, you know being injured or anything like that. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. Know. You never know how this game yeah. works out. <laughs> <laughs> if this actually <laughs> happens, I would be so. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it might play out. Kyle Walker is being rushed because, if I remember correctly, he might be coming back from a hamstring. Yeah, right? he's coming back from an injury. So, so he's gonna be trying to speed up with with Rodrigo or Vinicius or trying to make sure that Vinicius. Vinicius, Vinicius. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he needs he needs to lock up with with the um, uh, Vinicius Junior. So he he's he's gonna have a really hard time against him. And and Ancelotti might do the same thing that he did last time. He'd be like, Rodrigo and Vinicius, play both of you guys on the left, you know? And then Valverde is the is, is the one who's on the right. And and that's gonna make Kyle Walker run in circles, you know. And his hamstring might just give up. That's the thing. It's like whoever has first injury, you know, just because of the occasion, the magnitude. You know, the Champions League lights are different from Premier League lights, guys. Do you remember last year? I don't know but, if you remember this phase of play do, where. But let's do less talking, and let's wait for the result. Because you know what? Okay. But you do you what? remember this because, phase of nah, play? you know what? I can't. I don't care. I I don't care. You don't. <laughs> if it's if it's Etihad, I don't care. Bro, it's gonna happen. Kyle Walker's injuries might get some stage fright. Champions League stage fright. I hope. And I hope. Just freeze. And I you hope. Know? Vinicius risked gonna, Fernandinho two years ago, says Box. He says Vinicius sent Fernandinho to retirement. And we hope the same Vinicius can come through, man. R10 with a very controversial opinion right there. R10, what are you talking about? Etihad is more revered than the Emirates. What? Really? I think this season the Emirates is like you're, you're gonna see. You're gonna, you're gonna see an assist from this this one guy who should be out and about, but he's still there. Carvajal. You're gonna see an assist from Carvajal. him. Uh, let me put Steffi's predictions in. Hold on. Let me see. Steffi Jenkins said. Uh, let me put it up. Atletico. Can you guys read that for me while I uh, I'm actually. Uh, um... Yes, so Atletico Madrid. Uh, Steffi Jenkins said two one Atle- uh, Atletico Madrid. And uh, 2-0 Barcelona. Okay. 2-0. Okay. And then what about... Uh, what about... Um, let's see. The other score. A 2-1 Arsenal. Really? 2-1 Arsenal. And no way. There's no way. No way. Uh, two one city. I think it's time I drop the stream now. See you guys. Yeah, I also have to wrap it up over here. Guys, thank you for the Take people up, that participated in this. And uh let us see if you if if you wanna please please support the channel, you can go to the to the to the comment section and put your predictions in there or in the community post kindly do so do not forget steffi says i wanted to put it into the comment section but saw that the next games are coming up so i put everything in here all good all good all good and i hope you saw that i changed your last name steffi <laughs> your last name is your <laughs> new initials is sjp <laughs> so got, yes yo shout out to you shout out to sashiv shout out to ronald 
And uh, um, uh, you, um, uh, your papi, are you, um, your papi, you saying you're gonna do a watch along, or, or like, um, or like you are, uh, or like you're gonna have some, some, some office. It's gonna be a reaction. Uh, like the watch along is gonna start in the second half. <laughs> it's gonna be more of a reaction because I have oh, a okay, Zoom okay. meeting that that starts in like four minutes. So, so. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 But tomorrow's yeah, watch along, yeah. we will be there. That one I have. Yeah, to be there. Yeah, kick off. Yeah, you, along. Hit along settings. Let's go. We will be there. We will be there. Champions League lights are set to 5,600k. Come on. All right, them, them lights. Let's hope they don't blind uh, Vinicius. They can only blind uh, John Stones and Kyle Walker. Anyway. <laughs> Papi. That is. Yo, 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 Papi. Papi, one last thing. Yeah. One last thing, yeah? One, one last thing I have to say. Um, next season... Vinicius Jr. is coming. Coming where, fam? Manchester United. Oh, my God! Really? <laughs> Fabrizio Kenny uh, 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 Fan TV. That's your new... <laughs> you heard the here we go here first. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> big ups to Big up, so so up for the pulling up as always. <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, kindly, kindly hit the like button if you haven't done so. I, uh, that's This is your final reminder. Shout out to you for being here. Much, much love and appreciation. We shall reconvene in a little while. Hopefully, hopefully, we will be enjoying some good Champions League football. As we said, today, it's Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. Men City versus... Re no. No, no, that's tomorrow. Barcelona versus PSG, Dortmund versus Atletico today. And uh, Jaden Sancho, hopefully uh, <laughs> he doesn't brag too much and say, uh, you know what, let me just check. I think the report says he he's injured. He has an illness for a few days, so he won't be playing. It'll probably be, it'll probably be uh, Malin playing that right winger position. So, um, yeah, anyway. Either way, we will be there. Big, big up, big up, big up to you guys. Get out of here, Sashiv. There you go. Get out of here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, peace, peace, peace. Talk to you soon. <laughs> That's Diddy level crack, says Vegeta. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Vegeta. <laughs> it's a shame. I am so, so upset about the situation. Football Power Hour! By the way, by the way, don't forget Vinicius Jr. <laughs> this motherfucker don't.